My name is Mark Graham and I conduct the original ghost walk of York. It's the oldest ghost walk in Britain and possibly the world. One of the most inspiring places to go in York is here at the Black Swan Inn. The staff and people who visit here, people who stay there, have many experiences to tell. The reoccurring theme is a woman who sits by the fire and stares and gives off a sense of loneliness, sadness, emptiness. And that same woman stands by the door, her long hair bedraggled, she turns and fades away. There's a man who comes down the stairs like a chaplain-esque figure, a chimney sweep, somebody said, and sort of dissolves at the bottom, his feet melting, and he disappears, as if in a whiff of smoke, suggesting that he's in another time and another dimension to ours. But there's a sinister story told. And it was told by a lady that worked with us for many years on our ghost walk. She was a barmaid here in 1970. It's her job to open up the bar. There's nobody in. It's a December night. It was dark. Fires were going. Behind the bar, she was looking into the front room because she felt as though there was somebody there, like the chinking of something, some movement. She looked in and <laughs> gasped for breath. It was as if the air had been taken out of the room. Then she felt a hand tightening around her throat and then pulling her hair back. She was gasping for breath and couldn't breathe. She got to a point where she consciously thought, this is what it must be like to drown, because she couldn't help it. Just then she heard a noise, like a slamming sound, and she fell to the floor. Two men had walked in through the main bar. It slammed a door behind them, and that had broke the spell that she was under. These two men had absolutely no idea what had gone on. There's poor June laid behind the bar, crying. And they said, well, are you OK? But uh, she explained what had happened, and they were really upset. They took her around to the ambulance station around the back. But she was so affected by that. But she was so determined to come back. And within six months, she came back to work here again. Because she said she felt determined that the spirit, or whatever it was, was not going to drive her away. And she was not going to live in fear. She never had that experience again. That's a brave woman, it was a Jew, but it's her inspiration to, t to tell ghost stories. She was uh, a wonderful storyteller. And the Black Swan has lots of uh, tales told uh, over the years by many of the staff, and many of people that visit. Um, there's reoccurring spirits. There's a mystery character that sits at the bar but the one I want to speak about is the man that used to sit here. There is, at the side of the fireplace, a Victorian hobby horse toy. There used to be a seat there. And it's where a man used to sit. A man with a waistcoat and a timepiece watch. When the pub's full, people look over and see him and maybe ask who he is, dressed oddly in what you might call, I'd say, the Victorian dress. And they'd look again, and he'd be gone. But he always had a timepiece, and whenever anybody saw him and described him, he was looking at his watch, waiting. He sometimes sat at the bar, and sometimes but mainly sat by the fire. He gave off a feeling of longing and would, some have said not quite despair but worry and some have linked him to the woman who also haunts here and stares into the fire some have suggested that what they give off is a feeling of uh, uh, lost love when one appears the other disappears it's as if they're doomed forever, never to meet. But their story remains a mystery, but it's not a happy one. There's a ghostly cat that passes through. 
on its way and just glances at you as if it knows you and into your soul like some animals do but the pub is a delight and every time you enter there's always something an atmosphere in every room an atmosphere from the past that's not always tragic but it can be uplifting pleasant not always sadness but it's a great place to come and even better to stay My name is Mark Graham and I conduct the original Ghost Walk of York. We go every night, 8 o'clock, outside the King's Arms pub by the river, which is famous for being the pub that floods. Our aim is to capture the imagination and inspire the mind with strange tales, legends, folklore and ghosts, and all true.